Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Fetal Presentations on Ultrasound. Fetal presentation can be seen in a longitudinal view. The cephalic presentation is the most common and an ideal presentation for normal delivery. The fetal head is directed towards the cervix. It will be seen on the right side of the image. The fetal body will be directed towards the fundus, that is the upper part of the uterus. The body is seen on the left side of the image in a longitudinal view. Fetal lie is the relationship between the long axis of the fetus and the mother's spine. In these images, a longitudinal view is taken. The fetus is also appearing longitudinally inside the uterus. So this is a longitudinal lie. The fetal spine is oriented parallel to the mother's spine. This is a cephalic presentation with an anterior spine. The spine is facing anteriorly. This is also a cephalic presentation. Regarding cephalic presentation, there are two orientations. The first one is cephalic spine posterior. The spine is seen in the lower side of the image in both longitudinal and transverse views. In the transverse view, the fetal left is on the left side of the image and fetal right is on the right side of the image. Here we can see the stomach on the left side of the image. So this is the fetal left. Similarly, the heart is also seen on the left side. The apex is pointing towards the left side of the image. The second orientation is cephalic spine anterior. The spine is oriented anteriorly. In the transverse view, fetal left is on the right side of the image and fetal right is on the left side of the image. The spine is seen on the upper side of the image and here is the stomach, so this is the left side of the fetus. And here is the heart, the apex is pointing towards the fetal left. This is the left side of the fetus. The spine is seen on the top side of the image. Now we move on to breech presentation in which the fetal head is directed towards the fundus and the fetal body and legs are directed towards the cervix. If this presentation is seen near the end of pregnancy, a C-section is preferred for delivery. Breech presentation has few types. The first one is a complete breech presentation. Both the hip and knees are flexed. We see folded legs and flexed hips directed towards the cervix. The fetal lie is longitudinal. In a longitudinal view of the uterus, the fetus is also in a longitudinal orientation. Breech spine posterior is an orientation of breech presentation. The spine is located on the lower side of the image in both longitudinal and transverse views. In a transverse view, the stomach is seen on the right side of the image, so fetal left is on the right side of the image and fetal right is on the left side of the image. And here we have a breech spine anterior orientation. The spine is seen on the upper side in the image. The fetal left is on the left side of the image. That's why the stomach is also seen on the left side. And fetal right is seen on the right side of the image. The next type of breech presentation is frank breech. It is the most common type of breech presentation. The hips are flexed 
and both knees are extended directing the feet towards the fundus the fetal lie in this presentation is also longitudinal in a footling or incomplete breech presentation one foot is directed towards the cervix one or both the hips will be extended but mainly we will see a foot right next to the cervix in a transverse lie the fetus is positioned horizontally across the uterus although this is a longitudinal view of the uterus the fetus is seen in a transverse orientation confirming that this is a transverse lie in a funic or cord presentation the umbilical cord is found right next to the cervix color doppler is very helpful in locating the umbilical cord thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos